different. Uh, I do I do attempt to think on my own and think what would be appropriate for a particular Sunday. And sometimes I follow through with that. And then other times spirit just kind of pushes me out of the way with that backhand, like go sit down. We're having this, we're doing this. So um, I have learned over the years to trust spirit, never doubt spirit, even if you rationally think you could possibly make a fool out of yourself. You just have to go with it and trust them. It's their show. So I personally really never have a whole lot of anything of any substance to say. I don't profess to be intelligent or soulful or full of wisdom any more special than any of you. No, that's not me. <laughs> but I do know who to trust, and that is the divine through all his or her work here on the earth plane, through spirit, that is spirit. I always defer to them. They're the ones that study the situations that have arisen around us. They observe what sometimes we don't even dare to speak of. I merely fulfill their wishes. So, Sit and listen and see what they have gathered for us now. I'm going to pretty much end my part of this right now and give you what I got. So, if I miss a word in the typing or something... I'm sure you can figure it out because most of the time when I type this, I just do spell check. I don't read for content or grammar or try to figure out their point at the time. I just, I just let it go and type. People, we know what you are. We know what you think why you think it, and where you want to go with it. We are here solely to guide you on the earth plane. We have walked it. We have lived it as you do now. Can you trust enough to allow us to step into your vibration at this time and provide for your betterment? We love you. And know that you have gathered here together today in his name. As so many did before you. And the ones that will come after you as well. Trust that we only wish to help you seek your spiritual due. You should never fear us. We are not here in any way to mislead you or covet anything that you have there in the physical. First, stand up for your true love of your families. Know that we stand behind you always. We want you to learn, develop, and further your spiritual education as you must. Do what calls you. We are not all the same in our knowledge of the word. Your curiosity will lead you where it must. Never doubt yourself. We all walk the long and sometimes lonely path. But walk it you must. Don't try to skip ahead and learn ragtag nonsense. Stay away.
away from it if it brings you dis-ease or no peace. You will know it when you see it. Keep your eyes open. Listen to my words, for they are not just my words. They are the words I have been sent to teach you. There's something here in this place for everyone, for all of you. We will meet you here when you gather. There are many of us here of like minds, minds such as yours. It has been so very long that I walked the earth plane. It is not as I knew it. But I see those that came after me in my own line. They still carry my thoughts and words with them. Some you have heard in the public eye. It is not necessary that you know my name or how I lived in my time. I was human. I made my share of mistakes as you all will and do. But know that I was a learned man and stand before you today through this one. That's me. This one. She speaks for many here. Come here. Meet, learn, and pass it on to your own blood as they will need to know the way and the way is to the one. Never doubt that. How you choose to walk is your mission, not your brother's. Trust that what you hear today through her is not of her, but of us. We want to see this religion of yours flourish. There are so many around that globe that think as you do. You might not know of them, but it is a collective energy and love for the God that you all embrace. So take this as the man said to you. Walk with it, lean on it, and show the way on the path to the others. You will see one day when you are in my place here of what I tell you is true and right. Continue to trust in the way to the Lord God. I will go now and leave you with her. <laughs> she knows and must be followed. I didn't write that. Bless you, my people of God. Okay. <laughs> so this is what I'm saying when I mean I'm out of this. Okay. They come through me. It's not my words. I don't talk like that. <laughs> so I have to read it carefully because they have a point. And it can be powerful. So like I said, I know when I'm being told to trust and follow our own path to the Lord God or Spirit. We all walk a path. Though for some, the way is more challenging than their brothers. But we are still of one family. We need to do more to strengthen our ties to each other. We need to share our sorrows as well as our triumphs. Some days will be difficult. Lean on us and spirit to console you and make the way easier. We need to devote time to learning, as spirit has mentioned but do only what resonates with you. We are not all the same as far as desires to learn and how and what we learn. There the path diverts. Follow yours as I have followed mine. But we will meet up 
and share what we have learned along the way. It is meant to be shared so that we all have this vast amount of ideas that can connect us rather than separate us. I'd like to read something from Becoming a Spiritualist by H. Gordon Burroughs, and I know a lot of you are familiar with this book. The message of spiritualism is that life is eternal for every human being. Just like we say in our declarations, the door, the door of reformation can never close. And that no matter how you have wandered from the path, which is thought to be righteous, somewhere and sometime the door stands wide open to receive you. And when you proclaim through your own desire, I have spent my all, and now I rise and go to my Father. And the Father is love. The Father who is love will make ready to receive that one who has wandered so far. Spiritualism has been called the religion of joy. We mean that state of mind in which we hope for the consummation of things promised. Religionists have promised a heaven of joy, of peace. We have been hopeful that that promise might be true. Spiritualism brings you the angels as your proof that the promises already made are truths, that your loved ones do live, that eternal life is a fact. Always go in peace my spiritualist brothers and sisters of our large and varied family. We are all here for a purpose. We have all been drawn here, called here in some form or another. And as Spirit spoke earlier, you are here. There is something here for all of you. So find it, what resonates with you. We are not all the same, but we do come here together as spiritualists where we have the freedom in this country to worship as we choose to do so. So thank you. Thank you for listening to Spirit's words, my words, H. Gordon Burroughs' words, and take it. Like the young man said, he wished he had more time. This is your reckoning right here. You have more time. So what you do when you walk out of here, that is your choice. But also as spirit referenced, I believe, to Andrew Jackson Davis, take the staff, walk with it, talk with it, lean on it. This is what we as spiritualists have chosen as our life path to learn and spread the word of spiritualism. Thank you today for being here.